A psychiatrist in Canada broke the hypocrisy meter. This report is from Raw Story. Gay conversion therapist cured male patients by having sex with them in his office. They explain, a psychiatrist who believes being gay is a sexual disorder and specialized in treating people for their homosexuality was found guilty of sexually abusing two male patients. The Toronto Star reported Friday that Dr. Melvin Iskov, 72, was found guilty by the Ontario medical regulator of the abuse, which was believed by his patients to be part of his treatment for their homosexuality. The two patients who spoke to the five-person discipline uh, panel said they thought that the sexual activity was part of the therapy and an attempt to cure them of homosexuality by engaging in the acts rather than fantasizing about them. Iskov engaged in mutual masturbation and oral sex with two male patients on different occasions during uh, therapy sessions and once had anal intercourse with one of them in his office, the panel found. The homosexuality hasn't been considered a psychiatric disorder in 30 years and attempts to cure it have been discredited as traumatic. The Toronto psychiatrist in his defense introduced passages from 1950 psychoanalyst Dr. Edmund Bergler whose theorizing on homosexuality included the concept that there are no happy homosexuals. This guy is also uh, accused, by the way, of improper conduct in a public men's washroom. Shocker. Um, so this tale is now as old as time. No pun in intended when I say the word tale. Um, how many times have we seen this, man? How many, how many times have we seen this? What was the guy's name? Ted Haggard was one. There's been a thousand Christian uh, fundamentalists who've been in this position. There's been a thousand Republican politicians who are anti-gay who've been caught in this situation. Now you have an anti-gay psychiatrist who's caught in this situation. Listen, what they're doing is actually ex exploiting their clients. Because these guys are ob obviously the guy who's this psychiatrist is gay. And instead of being a normal person and accepting his homosexuality and then acting on that and going out and meeting people and dating them and picking them up and engaging in sex acts that way, what he's doing is he's abusing his power as a psychiatrist. And he's pretending that engaging in sex acts with him is the cure for your homosexuality. Which at face value is preposterous. You know, it's like, it's like the old saying, um, bombing for peace is like fucking for virginity. That's what this reminds me of. It's like, yeah, I'm going to cure you of your gayness by being gay with you. What? That makes no sense. And also, there's no reason to try to cure being gay. There's nothing wrong with it. Who gives a shit? Um, but that's what's so frustrating about these guys, is that they have this delusion and this false belief that it's something wrong with being gay, self-hating gay, and then now they're exploiting people in the process to carry out their own fantasies. And the, by the way, the, the people who participated in it with them, they're victims, so I'm not going after them, but I'm just saying you didn't know that originally something was up when this guy was trying to get you to jerk off in front of him? So, uh, pretty unbelievable, if you ask me, but uh, whatever. The court will make whatever decision the court will make in this front, but this guy got his license revoked, obviously, which is uh, the proper course of action. And let's, let's, get, let's get beyond it, man. Let's get beyond it, because all that's happening is exploitation under the guise of treatment when you have these repressed anti-gay gay people who are treating other gay people. And again, we've seen this time, time and time again, uh, where there was, I think Michelle Bachman's husband was in a similar situation. He would actually, to be fair, I'm not sure if it was him, but I remember seeing a little video news clip of like an anti-gay, um, gay treatment therapist who would have gay men sit on his lap and like grind with him. It's like you, you obviously you're in the closet and you're gay and you're trying to get your rocks off while pretending it's it's immoral and wrong and deserves treatment. So it's just sad and repression makes people do really fucking weird things and criminal things and um, we'll see what happens with this guy and what kind of a sentence he gets but can't say I'm surprised because stories like this break all the time.